Wildlife Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala is at this moment issuing a briefing on the upcoming uh, Skull International Congress set to be held in Mombasa between the 17th to 21st October this year. Let's cross over and listen in. I am optimistic that with the government support, uh, with the private sector and the county support, I think we can be able to achieve a great event. 17th October is just after the Kenya Tourism Week of the 27th of September to the 5th of, uh, of October. And that week has a lot of activities throughout the, the week for tourism. We have the Magical Kenya Expo, we have Chef Delights about restaurants, we have uh, an investment, an African investment forum, we have a visit at uh, Amboseli for the elephant naming, and also we have the Ushanga uh, Festival, which is a, a, a women group uh, enterprise around wildlife. So these are activities that will complement, again, the Congress on the 17th of October. Uh, you have been told that uh, even delegates are very much interested to travel through the SGR. This is what the benefit we have got from the establishing of SGR. So all of us, we want to hold together. Government is supportive. Also, maybe the good thing that has happened is that we have seen a new facelift in Mombasa County. Uh, it was tired and decayed, but now with these initiatives, and thank you to the county government, and I think they've done a great job in cleaning up Mombasa. We as the national government, we are going to complement that effort because the primary responsibility of cleaning up the cities are counties. Us as a government, we will just complement those efforts, and that's why we were there to support the establishment of the Mombasa Regeneration uh, Initiative. And we will start that program in September. Now I can see the influence of SCAL in the Mombasa County beautification because of the color blue and white. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think it looks nice. And uh, definitely we need to sustain this cleanliness of Mombasa. It has to go beyond just an event. So we need Mombasa to clean up better we have a clear program on cleaning the beaches with KWS. We have a clear program with Kenya Tourism Board on the beach strategy of how we are going to, to, to bring, put more efforts in, in that destination because it's a core destination. But also what is exciting is this season of, of tourism here in, uh, during the migration. I think uh, you, are, you appreciate migration came a bit late, which is normal. People like us and Peter Ngori here who have been in this sector for long, we, didn't, we were not shocked to see that migration started in the third week of July. That was traditionally the time it starts. Then because of climate change, it started earlier, but now it's gone back because of the enough rains we have held this year, both in, in Tanzania as well as in Kenya. But the migration has been very successful. I'm told Masai Mara is fully booked and we want to support that. Also, the beach destination is doing well, not fully booked, but doing well, and we want this to be spread. The only thing I'm challenging the tourism industry, let's not focus on selling safari and the beach only during the migration time. Then we have a challenge of both uh, accommodation and then also the numbers in supporting uh, the ecosystem in these areas. But I want to say that uh, so far, the tourism industry is very positive. It's doing very well. We hope the numbers will go up. Our target with Kenya Tourism Board is about 18% growth this year. So we are hoping that target is going to be sustained. There's a lot of interest in Kenya. And, 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 and I believe we will do very well uh, in, in, in marketing. And with this Congress, it will complement even the future marketing of Kenya. And our focus in the next five years is to increase our numbers from the 1.5 million arrivals to 2.5 million arrivals by 2022. That is our target, and we are optimistic. And we have seen there's a lot of investment, both in the parks and in Nairobi, and we are trying to advise the investors in Nairobi to move beyond Nairobi to go to Kisumu, to go to Eldoret, to open new areas even as far as Lake Turkana and the North Reef areas where the sites are beautiful, 
and they can actually enjoy much more experience rather of just being a wildlife affair, but it's an experience that we want to do. So mine is to say congratulations, Skull. We are happy. It's happening finally. And this is critical. It's an endorsement to say Kenya is safe. That is key for, for, for the country. Because without that endorsement, then we will have to struggle in increasing the numbers of tourism in this country. But I'm, I'm optimistic and I'm happy, finally. But again, I want to thank uh, Mombasa County because they've really pulled an effort. It's not easy to change things, but they've done a good job. But again, uh, as I said, let's not just do it as a, for, for an event, but let's make sure that it's sustained throughout so the numbers, they don't go back uh, or decline uh, when the event is over uh, and people feel that there is no effort anymore. But I'm optimistic. And once again, I want to say thank you. I recognize here Nick Sabula is here from Qatar. I recognize Peter Ngori here from uh, Kenya Association of Tour Operators. I see Susan is here from the Kenya Tourism Federation. Uh, Kenya Association of Hotel Keepers, are they here? 